Hi everyone, welcome to TechHawk. Today I am sharing some video clips on RCCP cooling water piping installation. Now you may ask what is RCCP? Well then, RCCP is for reinforced concrete cylinder pipe. This was invented by a French engineer and entrepreneur Mr. Bona in 1894. So the first step will be trench digging and leveling of the trench bottom. Depending on the soil types, bank sloping, shoring, sheet piling or timbering, bracing or mechanical sheeting, any method can be used. It is also necessary to organize the site works to avoid any inflow of water likely to impair the stability of the trench walls or the reliability of the trench bottom. Now, we have to prepare the trench bottom. We have to prepare the beds according to the design requirements. In this project, two types of bedding, one is crust stone layer and another is concrete foundation with PHC piling. After preparing all the layers of the pipe bedding, we have to perform final inspection and confirm that the elevation is ok. FDT that means field density test may also be required to check the compaction of the sand, thickness of the each layer like sand layer, gravel layer can also be checked. If everything is ok, the pipes and specials can be laid down into the trench. The pipe or special is held by a sling in a position parallel to its final position. The pipe is lifted by means of a crane. All the final positions should be checked by surveyor. For the standard joints, which is most commonly used, a spigot end or male end enters into the socket end, which is also called female end. If necessary, the pipe is blocked in its altitude with backfill materials. A pipe cooling system can help this to happen smoothly. 
The tension on the pulling cable is then released. The pipe is then choked on its sides in order to prevent it from moving during the next fitting operation. To hold in position, we have to do tack welding and then final fillet welding as a specification. Welding must be inspected visually and through NDT. Here we are performing capillary test. This is also called liquid penetrant test. Actually this is a very simple to understand. We apply whitewash at the inner side of the welding joint and red penetrant at the outer side of the welding joint and wait overnight or at least 12 hours. Yes sir. If there is any red strain at the inner side of whitewash, there must be a leakage and this should be repaired and retested. If no leakage, then the exposed metal parts shall be protected with a mortar joint cast internally and externally. The external concrete joint is cast by pouring mortar into a plastic form to be left on pipe. Recommended mortar mixture ratio should be followed. This mortar mixture will be liquid enough to flow at the bottom portion of the pipe. The internal mortar joint is performed by applying mortar manually or by mechanical impeachment. At first, we have to apply a bonding primer solution on the surfaces with a brush carefully, either of metal or concrete. Then wait till the primer gets tacky but not completely dry. Then apply the internal mortar with a spatula at at least three layers. The internal surface may also be made smooth enough by grinding if owner requires. Depending on the existing soil condition, some specific laying method may be specified by the design department in order to ensure the short term and long term stability of the pipe walls. The bedding and backfilling of the pipeline shall be performed so as to meet the design assumption. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any comment or any question, feel free to ask in the comment box.